mashed potatoes. Mm. Breakfast again. Mm-hmm. Corks mac. guys welcome back to another vlog i'm finishing getting ready for the day i passed the flat iron through my hair for the first time in probably i don't even know how many years years i do not use the flat iron at all but i fell asleep last night with my hair wet and i didn't feel like re-wetting it or doing anything like that so i was like you know what? i'm just gonna pass the flat iron but i'm finishing getting ready so i'm putting on my lip i have tons of content that i need to film today errands to run just like stuff that i need to do so i'm using corks mac Max cork. I need to figure out what I want to wear for the day. Now I'm using NYX London, which is still my favorite brownie, like peachy nude ever. It's just my favorite. And I'm about to get dressed really quick and accessorize. Wow, I feel like a different human with my hair like pinned straight like this because I never do this. So I'm finishing up getting ready, which means jewelry. I gotta add. All my jewelry on i have my hoops that you guys see all the time and i always wear my k initial necklace that i always get questions about this necklace the necklace and the hoops i get always a ton of questions i'm gonna add the other pieces of my jewelry and i'm so excited that this portion of this vlog is sponsored by Ana Luisa. If you guys have watched my videos before, I'm constantly wearing Ana Luisa's jewelry. I actually worked with them in the beginning of the year for a little Valentine's Day uh, sort of situation. And that was kind of like my introduction of the brand. I have been in love with my pieces ever since. If you've watched my videos for a long time, I struggle with that really hardcore like sensitivity to fake jewelry. So for me to wear jewelry that isn't solid gold, it has to be a really high quality that isn't going to bother my ears or any part of my skin. I have broken out in rashes behind my neck. My fingers have turned green and I've gotten little bumps. My ears get just, it's, it's not fun at all. When I was picking out new pieces of jewelry, I was so excited because of how well the other pieces that I have from them have lasted me. These are the earrings that I have from them. I have three different sized hoops. I knew I wanted like a nice little collection of a hoop situation on my ear so you can see that on both of my ears and then the k necklace that i very very rarely take off i was really excited to add some new pieces to my collection because i wanted to test out like the rings and the bracelets so i want to show you guys the pieces that i got super excited these pieces are so much more beautiful in person when i saw them online i was obviously excited about them which is why those were the pieces that i chose but actually seeing them in person and putting them on I'm just like obsessed. So the pieces come in these really cute little cloth bags. It's kind of like a canvas little dust bag with clips here so your jewelry stays safe if you are traveling. These are really good for travel. You guys know my favorite color is blue. So I saw this ring and I was just so drawn to the chunkiness and the funkiness of this ring. So I've been wearing it on my pointer finger here. And again, it's just super fun. It has this beautiful like blue and gold veining throughout. It's just stunning and I love it. And the fact that it's not going to turn or irritate my fingers is obviously a plus. I also got this ring right here that I am so excited about because I've been wanting this style of like a spiral ring for a really long time. And I'm just super excited that it's on the more affordable side because Ana Luisa's jewelry is extremely affordable for how high quality the pieces are. And I've just been wearing this on my pinky. I love the way that it looks on my left hand with my, you know, engagement ring and wedding bands. And then the other two pieces that I picked out, I am, I, I don't even know what I'm the most excited about because I'm truly so in love with all of them and I have not taken them off since I got them. I have this bracelet right here, which has these beautiful like flower dainty like jeweled stoned details on them so beautiful in between our little beads and again the fact that they're not going to tarnish is just a dream and then i also picked this one out which kind of reminds me of the ring a little bit um it kind of has that same like stone detailing but this one has green stone going throughout it and i'm just obsessed i love it so much i just think they're so pretty and they look so pretty stacked I haven't taken them off again. I had a pool day the other day. I haven't taken them off to take a shower and I just can't be bothered to take my jewelry off. Like once it's on, it's on and I'm not, 
I'm not gonna be bothered to change it. So all of their jewelry is backed by a two year warranty, which is also amazing. I've had these since February, so it's been quite some time. So it's awesome because there is no show at all of anywhere. Like they look exactly the way they did when I first got them. They're extensively tested against allergies, tarnishing, water resistancy, all of that stuff, which is the part that's the most important to me because no matter how much I love a piece of jewelry, if it does not work well against my skin and if it's going to tarnish, it's just not worth it to me. I do have an active discount code, which is Ivanacora20 that you can use for 20% off of the entire website, which is insane. I'm gonna leave all of these pieces linked down below for you guys. At this point, I have a huge collection of Ana Luisa jewelry and I don't see that really ever changing because I really, really love them. You guys see them in my videos all the time, even if I'm not talking about them. So I will leave everything linked down below uh, for you guys, along with my discount code down below. Thank you so much to the Ana Luisa team for sponsoring this portion of the video. So let's get into the rest of the day. So I'm out here just batch creating as much content as possible because I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but Mondays are always like really motivating to me. They don't like, I don't know. I'm always like very, very, very productive on Mondays. So because I'm like, ready i have makeup on i have my hair done i'm actually going to do a different hairstyle in a little bit i just take advantage and i'm like you know what let me just create as much content as i can like as much as flowing let me just keep going for it so i've already done two tiktoks i've posted a reel i've posted one tiktok one of the tiktoks i'm going to save for tomorrow i'm just cranking them out honestly like i'm like okay like what outfit do i want to put on and play with next when you have the spark crank out content it's like you might as well just do it so that's what I've been doing for the last like hour. I said that I was gonna do at least three videos today, like TikTok style videos. I think I'm gonna do this bodysuit over here that I bought from Amazon. It's such a good bodysuit. I'm just trying to figure out what bottoms I wanna wear with it. I'm just here playing, seeing what I wanna play with and seeing what I wanna style. This is honestly what makes me happy. Like this type of content, this type of stuff, playing with clothes is like my dream. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. And then once I'm done, I think I'm gonna make myself like a personal little charcuterie type of board or like a little snack plate for lunch. I'm not really like in the mood for like food food. So I think I have like leftover charcuterie from the weekend because I had some girls over and I made like a small board with like almonds, crackers, cheeses, salamis, olives, like all that stuff. So I think I'm gonna make one and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I hit my goal. I made my three. Look at how beautiful this, this is so old from BNC. I just finished. All my filming, I, I filmed so many videos and I just have them in my drafts, took some pictures and all that. And now it is a monsoon outside. Love that for us. So I'm gonna wait until it stops raining because I have some errands to run. I have to go to Ulta and get um, face wash, like face cleanser. And I really, really wanna get a candle. So because the Marshalls is right next to the Ulta, I think I'm just gonna go in. I just want like a random candle. Like I have my base candle, but I only burn that on like super specific days or like when I'm looking for a specific vibe. I just wanna get a different candle, just something for the living room or for the bedroom that I can just put on, you know, again, for vibes. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm changed into just some comfies and we're gonna make our snack plates because I'm ready to eat. The rain knocked over one of our thingy majiggies. It knocked my huge umbrella into the pole and broke it. So Tyler has to fix it. Like the wind is wild over here. I've got two packs of meat. I have the salami collection from Aldi and I also have this one. I don't think I want this one to be honest. I think I want some of these salami slices. So we have that, let it go. We have these cookies. These are one of the best cookies you can get at Aldi. They're milk chocolate coated butter cookies imported from Germany. Insane, so good. Got some hot pepper jelly. This is super good. You can get this at like Marshalls sometimes, Home Goods or Publix. And then I have some Havarti jalapeno cheese, which is, it's a creamy Danish style cheese. So we've got that. Got some boar's head turkey. Got these pita crackers. These are garlic and chive. They're delicious from Aldi as well. These grain-free crunchy cassava crackers. Really, really good for a board. I have some pretzel crisps. I have got hummus. This is one of the best hummuses I have ever personally tried. I'm a big fan of hummus. This is jalapeno, jalapeno honey. Garlic stuffed olives. I'm gonna use one of these plates. Oh, where did I get this? I think I got these at like, uh, Goodwill. Was it these or did I get these? 
I don't remember. Are they by these out of three? I don't remember. Whatever. They're, I don't know where they're from. The brand is the Spode Blue Room Collection. I don't know. They're, I think, made in, like, the UK or something. So, let's, we need some good light. First, we're going to put some, a couple different meats. There's classic salami, urban spice salami, and black pepper salami. I'm just going to do, like, three of each. I love salami. No, that's four. So we got three of each salami. Then I'm gonna do some of these crackers. Literally only like a couple. Cause we have lots of things to snack on. Gonna do these milk chocolate covered almonds, just like a handful. That's what I love about a snack plate is like, there's so many different things that you get to like pick on that you never get bored. Grabbing this little bowl. These are from Aldi as well. Aldi is the goat. I love it there. I actually need to do my grocery lists for this week. And I'll probably end up stopping at Aldi for a couple things. I also love olives so much. I can eat, I used to eat olives just like this when I was little. So, olives. There's only like two left in there. Then we'll do some of these pita crackers. Again, just a couple. I'm just gonna cut it into a couple little slices. I have a cheese slicer, but cleaning it is a pain, so I just don't even bother. Let's do some hummus. Have this little glass bowl. So I'll do like A tablespoon and a half. So delicious. You can get this at Publix. Then we have some pepper jelly. I'm gonna use this tiny little thing for that because I don't need too much. It's just like a little hint. Let's put a nice little sliver right there. And I'm gonna do just a couple pretzels. I was gonna put one of the cookies, but I think I have enough. All right, here is my delicious snack plate for lunch. We've got pepper jelly, we've got hummus and, and pretzels, we've got some meats crackers some cheese some olives is gonna be super good i'm just gonna chill probably scroll on tiktok or watch a show or something while i eat and then i'm going to head out of here and go to the store hopefully it stops raining by then that was so freaking satisfying you guys literally clean the plate only thing i didn't finish was the hummus i put a little too much i should have known better there's a little bit left so yeah but <clears throat> it's still freaking drizzling and i'm like not with it at all I haven't even made my bed today because I just like got so excited about like all the stuff that I wanted to get done today that I completely I guess I could put on my sweat shorts. I love these. I got these at Target. They're universal thread. I think they're men's, honestly. I don't even know, but I love them. I could put on this thermal. I bought him this from HM a while back. But it matches like perfectly. Look what I'm wearing. Leonard, get out of there. Ow. I've ordered a couple of things. I'm, I think I'm gonna do a collective haul soon um, of just some things that I've ordered. I haven't been like shopping like crazy or anything, but I um, ordered a couple of things. Like I ordered a new book. I ordered two books actually, but I'm already finished with the first one. So I'm about to start the second one. It's a like spicy romance novel. If you're into that, I got jewelry, I got a couple clothing pieces. I have another piece of jewelry arriving today. I got a new gel polish thing. I think we have decided that we're going to go to Europe in September. 
Flights are looking real cheap. Well, from here to London, I think they were like five something. Usually London is our first spot that we travel to because it's closest, like just to get from here to Europe, it's the cheapest to go usually through London or Milan. Um, sometimes Paris, it really just depends on the time of year you're going, but I think we're going the beginning of September. So that'll be fun. That I said, I told you guys I would vlog. I'll confirm once we 100% decide and like buy flights and all that stuff. Um, I just put on my cloud shoes because my arches are hurting me. It's humid. All right, we are in the car. All of my body hurts because of my stiff neck. Oh, it's humid. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I am dumb because I didn't bring my camera. I forgot my camera in the car. And I was like, oh, cool, fine. I'll just record on my phone. But my phone only had 2% battery. So I'm like, great. But I'm already done with the errands that I had to run and I am heading back home. I only got, I got two things in Ulta and two things in Marshalls, which I will show you guys shortly. And I don't know about you guys. Have you guys started grabbing like if you're someone that like adds like pops of Halloween to your house, I know some people do, some people don't. Um, I just started to last year. Um, I'm not like the biggest Halloween person, but I like the little touches of like skeletons and like the cute little ghosts and things like that. So that's usually what I decorate with. And the other day I had seen on TikTok, somebody was like, oh my God, like all the, all the stores already have like Halloween stuff out. And I was like, but it makes sense because I remember last year, by the time it was like September, everything was gone. Like all the good Halloween stuff was gone. So I went on Marshall's, Marshall's online, TJ Maxx online, and Home Goods online. You guys, they have such good stuff. If you're somebody that's like adds pops of like Halloween for like your kids or whatever, like to your house, highly recommend going on the website. I had ordered last week, I think it was like Friday. I think it was Friday. I ordered um, these glasses. I have like a whole bunch of stuff from last year that I really, really like. But I had wanted, they, Crate and Barrel comes out with, Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn have the best stuff for everything, pretty much. Halloween, Christmas, all of it. And um, last year on Crate and Barrel, they had like these really cute cocktail glasses, like just a regular round cocktail glass. But it had like little ghosts, like, going up and i was like oh my god that's super cute but i think they were like 15 dollars a glass and i just i'm not like a huge halloween person like that to get to just like spend money on something like that but this year i go on to they have them again this year um i'll leave a link down below for you guys if you're somebody that is into them they're so cute but this year i um went on to i think i can't remember if it was home goods or marshall's one of the two I went on there and they had pretty much almost the exact same thing on there for, I think it was $12 for a set of two. So I got those and I got, I'll show them to you guys when they come in. They haven't, I don't even think they've shipped yet, but whenever they come in, I will show them to you guys. And I think I'm gonna do a video like decorating. We obviously have a lot of time for that. I probably won't end up decorating for anything Halloween until um, October 1st. Like that's when I'm gonna put up like the Halloween stuff because it's only supposed to stay up for October, so. I'm gonna wait until Halloween and then I'll put um, all that stuff up. But now that I have a house, you guys, I'm going in. Wait until Christmas. I don't, I'm not like as big of like Halloween and like Thanksgiving, like with the pumpkins and all. I mean, I do have a lot of pumpkins, but Christmas, and now that I have my fireplace mantle, just wait. I'm going to be unhinged. I'm gonna be ridiculous. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. Go on Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods Online you will find and you know how like when you go into the home goods store or like the tj maxx stores any of those stores it's like if you don't get something that you really really like the chances of you finding it again are like slim to none go on the website guys i'm telling you but i'll show you guys i got two things i got a candle because i wanted a candle and i got a little ghost thing because i really really liked having like the ghost stuff um yesterday or last year and i'm probably just going to keep it the same ghost skeleton like that type of vibe 
then it's just super easy because um like that stuff is like not too themed like a ghost and a skeleton like that's gonna be in no matter what okay we are home so let me show you what i got hello puppy you are currently about to rest on my orchid so from ulta i literally only went in for two things first day beauty pure skin facial cleanser this is what i've been using for the last couple of months i'd say probably like six months it's been working really well i've been using this and the ultra repair cream as my moisturizer just because i was having those breakouts on my skin so i just restocked that and then this is the shampoo that i use it's the verb ghost shampoo i used to use this when i worked at sephora years ago like when i worked at the disney springs location which was like i was what like 26 but i love this it's weightless color safe and it's just a cleanser. It's um, the main reason I buy it is because it is weightless and I cannot use anything heavy because my hair gets very greasy. So I spent $52 on those two things. And then at Marshall's, I spent $22. So this is the candle that I got. I wanted something still like very like fresh and summery. So this is sea salt and thyme and this is from the DW Home whatever. And it literally smells like fresh and clean summer. So I got this one and it's pretty big. I like the color of this thing too. And it was $12.99. And then I got this guy. This is supposed to be, I think you can like light it up, which I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Maybe, I'm not sure. This, there we go. So here's what he looks like. And I, like I said, I just really liked having like the ghost touches in the house because like a ghost that's like traditional halloween so yeah that's all i got and now i'm just gonna put him in storage until i end up decorating for halloween but he's very cute if i can find it online i will link it this is from martha stewart i think yeah martha stewart led um ghost thing oh and then i also had an amazon delivery ordered this hand chain i have been wanting one for a while and i saw one on amazon and i was like mm, i'm gonna buy it i've never worn one before have i no i haven't so i was like okay i'll start with like a more affordable one and then if i end up liking it and i want to invest in like a real gold one then i'll do that i'll leave it obviously linked down below oh it looks so pretty goes over your finger this and then it's like that and then the bracelet goes around your wrist i don't even have long nails there we go there we go so that's what it looks like so pretty right there and it's very comfortable i think i need to make it a little bit looser but it is very 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 comfortable i love it i'll leave that link down below i have like a whole jewelry section now on my amazon storefront um and i'm about to put this away clean up i think i'm gonna wash my face and just like relax now so i just lit my candle put it up here i put my ghost away um let me show you i opened up my bin i need to do something with this room because wow um I opened up my Halloween bin. Well, this is like Halloween slash like November. I put my ghost right here. All my pumpkins. Ooh, I forgot I have cobwebs. My spiders. Ooh, my mug. I loved my mug last year. The ghosts. I bought these for cookies. If you remember me and Tyler, our bake-offs last Christmas. So I got these cookie things just to have. My skeletons. I have lots of fun little things in here. So I'm super excited to bust them out and decorate in this house because it's going to be so fun. Like decorating for the holidays is so fun. So I can't wait to see how it's going to be like when I'm in my own house. Come on, Hunter. 
I still have not built my um, rolling rack or my clothing rack because it's not rolling. I keep saying rolling, it doesn't roll. Still haven't built it. I don't know why. But look at how many star fruits my tree dropped for us. There's probably more over there because it just rained. But like, so pretty. I need to cut them open and have some. But I'm gonna chill out now. I'm probably gonna get on my computer and edit some footage that I need to edit for some sponsored content and I need to get it approved by the brand. So I'm probably gonna do that now so that I can just be done with that for the day. And it's, I think like about to be four. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna wrap up and that'll be it for today. So I am pretty much about to be done with all of the work that I had done today. I'm just about to submit some content for approval. I don't know if any of them are ready, but. So my tree of these, star fruit in English, carambola in Spanish. This is what they look like, they're so cute. And they're so good, nice and sweet. And juicy. I think I'm gonna make like a tortilla with turkey and cheese. I think I'm gonna make it kind of like a quesadilla. Like, just throw it on the pan, put the cheese. And the meat. Usually every time I go grocery shopping, I clean the fridge out just to, you know, make it like nice. Just one small piece. And then I'll do one piece of turkey. Like that, and then I'm just gonna put it like this in a pan. Easy and yummy. This quesadilla, I don't even know. This is a put whatever you have in the fridge together. It's a tortilla with one slice of deli American cheese, one slice of Vermont white cheddar, a piece of turkey, and a piece of salami. That is so good. I think I'm gonna do um, white rice, pink beans. I need to make sofrito, because I don't have any. Do you prefer Spanish food or like barbecue chicken, broccoli, mashed potatoes? I mean, we can do that, that's easier. It's honestly either, they're both gonna take about the same. The barbecue. Okay. Chicken, mashed potatoes. And broccoli. Which is, that's easy enough. This is such an easy dinner. I honestly think I'm gonna barbecue, I'm gonna bake the chicken. Cause it's all like, I can just throw everything in and it's just so easy. We watched um, Lord of the Rings the other day and I was shocked, I actually really enjoyed it. Cause one of like my oldest friends, Desiree, she was like a Lord of the Rings stan when we were in high school. Or maybe middle school, I don't even remember. From young, she was a stan of Lord of the Rings. And I always, I always was just like, so weird. Like, shows or movies like that, that there's like, it's like super dated, I was never into. But then I watched Game of Thrones and that changed everything because Game of Thrones is so good. So I watched the first one, the, I can't remember what it was called. I watched the first one and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. And then we started watching the second one. So I have to finish that because I was falling asleep. I'm just cutting my potatoes into little chunks. I was looking at hotels in Amsterdam today. I really like staying in Airbnbs in Amsterdam, but the prices of Airbnbs are just outrageous. Like, With the, all the fees that end up being charged from Airbnb, like 
you can get a hotel for less and have less maintenance like to worry about. I'm gonna put these dishes in the dishwasher and get it ready. What's up you guys, good morning. So to finish off this vlog, I wanted to give you guys like a grocery haul. I um, I always like to do like a empty out purge of the fridge before I fill it with whatever else we bought. So Tyler went to the store while I was sleeping and he got everything on the list that I made. So I figured I would just show you guys everything that he picked up. And I, there's no like, I don't know exactly what's where because he bought it all so two red onions just for whatever dinners. I did make out my menu already. Um, some bell peppers because I'm going to make Philly cheesesteak like subs, like a low calorie Philly cheesesteak stuff. So two green bell peppers, two cucumbers just for salads, bowls. I didn't know he was doing this. So I just wrote down my list the way that I would interpret it. And he took a picture of the list and then went to the store. So I wanted like low calorie bread, which is like the Sara Lee one and like all those that I normally get. But he got keto bread, which isn't what I wanted, but I'm gonna eat it because you know, it's here. And these are 60 calories per slice of this bread specifically. If you're somebody that's keto or low calorie or low sugar or low carb or whatever, there's those. And then there was also these. I was just gonna get, again, low calorie buns, but he got keto ones, which again, is fine, I will eat it. He spent money on it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it all. Um, and then he grabbed the La Banderita carb counter, corn tortilla, er, lean tortillas, sorry, which these are the ones that I normally get. These are the big ones, they're huge. And then he also grabbed the mini ones. So we got that, some mozzarella for the cheesesteak situation, some organic tomatoes, a spring mix. He grabbed two cans of tomato sauce, two cans of corn, can of black beans. He got himself some Gatorades. He loves yellow Gatorade. He got two of the, um, what is this called? Maple syrup. He has been having like pancakes and waffles every day. And he also got mix, some cafe bustelo right here, um, a pack of ground beef, and then a pack of ground turkey, which one of these is going to be for the uh, subs, and the other one is going to be for um, a pasta. I'm not sure what yet. Um, he grabbed this, the southern potato salad. This is his like favorite from Publix. Um, this is the best cookies and cream ice cream from Briars, so he grabbed one of those. I wanted hash browns to have these for breakfast. Like I think that's what's gonna be my breakfast for the week, just like hash brown um, breakfast things. Um, 
Yeah, I've got those and then a carton of eggs. So I'll tell you guys what I made for my menu this week. I was gonna do all this shopping at Aldi because it's so much cheaper for like the same things. But he went to Publix, so it's probably super expensive because Publix is not cheap. Um, so for today, I'm doing um, an egg white breakfast sandwich, which that's why I wanted the bread. For lunch, I'm going to make some sort of bowl. I don't know of what. I'm just going to whip a whole bunch of stuff together. For dinner, I'm going to make chicken enchiladas. That's going to be for tonight. Wednesday, I put hash browns with eggs and avocado. So that's why I got the hash browns. Lunch is going to be taco salad with the black beans. So I'm going to make a big taco salad with like all that stuff. And then for dinner, I'm going to make pasta with ground turkey, like a red sauce type pasta. Thursday, I'm going to do the hash brown with eggs and avocado again. Usually like when I get something specifically for breakfast, I try to eat it as much as I can so that none of it goes bad. So I'm going to do a hash brown with eggs and avocado. For lunch, it's just going to be leftover pasta. And for dinner, I'm going to make salmon bowls. Wish he didn't pick up salmon because the salmon wasn't out yet. So I'm just going to pick that up on Thursday. Again, I'm going to do a hash brown with eggs and avocado. For lunch, I'm gonna do loaded nachos. And for dinner, I'm gonna do Philly cheesesteak subs. I don't know why I put fries. I meant to put subs and fries. Um, so the only thing that I need to pick up is the uh, siete chips and salmon. So that's everything that I'm gonna be making for this week. Maybe one of these days I'll do what I eat in a day for anyone that does enjoy them. But I'm going to now put all of this stuff away and get going with my day. It's pretty early, it's eight something, so. Um, I'm gonna get all this stuff going and that is going to be the end of today's vlog Remember again to check out my links below for everything from Ana Luisa and remember you can get 20% off by using Ivana Cora 20. I'll see you guys in the next vlog